Hello there, I'm Jonathan, and today I'm going to very quickly show you how to set up your Lightner 500 or 600 series wireless headset with your desk phone. Obviously, we're going to need the desk phone itself. In this case, I'm using a Yealink model phone, but the model doesn't really matter too much. These are going to be pretty much the same instructions, no matter what your office phone is. And I have my Lightner already. Obviously, we'll need that. I have that already connected to power because I like the pretty blue light. And then the last piece you'll need with your headset is the connector cord here. Now this is gonna have a little bit of green tape on it. This is the cord that transmits audio from the desk phone to the headset. So we're gonna need that. Let's jump in and start with the headset side of things first. I'm gonna go ahead and take the headset off the charging base. We lose our pretty blue light, but that's okay, we'll get it back. And then we're gonna flip this around and take a look at where we have the power plugged in. So the power, of course, is this cord right here that runs to an outlet. We're gonna have that plugged into the round second port on the back. Now we will grab the connector cord that we mentioned previously. It has a little bit of green tape on it. And we're gonna plug that in to this port right here, directly to the right of the middle big silver port. Bam. While we're here, we also need to make sure we've got some settings correct on the bottom. So in the bottom here, you'll see you've got a switch on the left. This switch should be set to RHL, which is the bottom portion of the options. And at the top, we have a compact dial. We want to make sure, a compact slider. We want to make sure that is set to one, which is the first one, and we're already there. Now, let's take the other end of the connector cord and head over to the phone. There are two main ways we could go about setting up your desk phone with your Lightner. Either way, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove this handset receiver just to make things a little bit easier for us. And then we're gonna check the ports on the back of the phone to determine which path we'll take. So let's flip the phone around to the back here. And on this Yealink phone, you'll see that I have a headset port. Now, if you have a headset port like this, all you have to do at this point is take the other end of the connector cord from the back of the Lightner and plug it in to that headset port. Voila, you're done. But if you don't have a headset port, never fear. We'll just unplug from our headset port here and instead we will take the other end of the curly cords receiver, the receiver for your phone, and unplug it from its handheld receiver port. We're gonna set that to the side and plug your connector cord into that spot instead. Now we'll take that receiver curly cord and we're gonna to go to the back of the Lightner one last time. Okay, if we're setting up using the handset port on your phone, the last piece of the puzzle is gonna to be to take this curly cord that's connected to your handset receiver, go to the back of the Lightner, and plug it into this far right port on the back. Bam, now you're all done. Congrats. And there you have it. You are now ready to rock and roll with your new Lightner wireless headset and that desk phone. And of course, if you have any other questions or you need any other help at all, always feel free to give us a call at 1-800-HEADSETS, where any one of our headset advisors would be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.